So you want to create passive income with puts, but you don't want to tie up all your capital. Well, inside this video, I'm going to teach you a strategy that's going to allow you to create passive income with only a thousand dollars. Introducing the poor man's covered put. You heard of the poor man's covered call, but this is one of my favorite plays, especially with a possible recession around the corner. And inside this video, we're unlocking the best stocks to use the PMCP with. We'll talk about which options to buy, which ones to sell to maximize the move, to maximize the passive income. And lastly, I'm releasing a scanner to help you scan for the top stocks to do this on today. And I'll also be releasing one play that is ripe right now that you can literally start doing this strategy on. And if you don't know me, you know I'm huge on the poor man's covered call. It allowed me to grow my account over a hundred thousand dollars in the last five months and we've seen the poor man's covered call great you know we were up five months in a row in the markets and now we're consolidating so how do you play the downside how do you get ready for maybe the top in the market and this is where the pmcp comes in because the direction is bearish we want to make sure we get a downtrend in the market but the difference is huge because we're looking to collect premium when you do the pmcc you want to have appreciation because you get the most money from the stock going up but the pmcp the poor man's covered put you can make so much more money from just selling puts you can make so much money from selling puts that you can cover your long option within like two to three weeks i'm gonna be showing you a play that's setting up right now the weekly income's like double triple depending on the strikes you use for a couple reasons but let's talk about the unicorn stocks because this is what you have to look for to be in the right play because you can't just do this on any stock it's better to do this on high iv stocks this is basically stocks that increased volatility increase the option chains iv and there's no way to go except down so think about stocks like amc gme the cannabis stocks the crypto stocks they're hype stocks and when hype stocks run they fall for years and, and so does the option chain so does the volatility and as an option seller you're just grabbing that decay much faster when you're getting the iv drop so it's very important to understand that High IV is huge for the PMCP, and the stock up huge is key. The higher the stock is, the more it's going to fall, especially if you're looking for the right technicals with the stock and the right fundamentals. So technically speaking, the last video we did, we simply put on the chart two indicators that showed you your confirmation that it was turning over bearish or bullish, and the same thing goes for this strategy but we're looking at the daily chart instead of the weekly because you want a quicker confirmation because if a stock capitulates like the stock right here runs right up and capitulates it might take 20 percent down and then it would trigger on the daily chart earlier but the weekly chart you'd miss like a major portion of the move to get that confirmation so the only difference between last strategy last week and this one is the daily chart. And we're looking for the same exact things, bear clouds. Bear clouds are the key because that tells you long-term direction is set. And then the bear chalk is key. It's a change of character. So you're using smart money concepts by Lux Algo and you're using the Ripster cloud. And so we're looking for the cloud to turn red, confirmation one, and then yellow cloud, can happen later in time but that's confirmation number two to stay in the play stay in the play and keep holding keep selling options keep doing this and what we're looking for for full confirmation like if you want to have full confirmation that you know it's bearish is that red chalk line so that's where i see this run up here you're making highs lows highs lows highs lows highs lows highs low this most recent low here because we went under that, that tells us we're going to start selling off because that's a change of momentum in the markets. It's a change of structure. So whenever you break a previous low, the lows that create the high, 
that's when the market flips. And then once we have the chalk, we're just looking to go run the PMCP now. So that's technically speaking what we look for. Yellow cloud doesn't need to be confirmation when we take the trade, but it helps us stay in the trade when it's there. So that so that's the unicorn stock strategy to find the right opportunities. And I'm going to show you one setup um, that's happening right now. Real quick, if you want to apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, hit the link in the description and see if you get in. We take on a few amount of students every single year, and we're just trying to help them master the strategies we're talking in this video and reach their financial goals. So if you want to apply, hopefully get in, and hopefully I can help you out in the market. And so I have those two indicators on my screen, but SMCI, the super microcomputers. We can see on the daily chart that this is green cloud and blue cloud. So this is still bullish and this is the daily chart. But in the next week, in the next two weeks, we're going to start flipping this bearish possibly. And what we want to look for is even the four hour chart could go bearish. Even the two hour chart could go bearish and trigger us in this strategy early. I mean, you could see down here, we hit, we hit a bullish entry because the chalk hits and then the green and blue clouds happen at the same exact time. And then we go long-term bullish on SMCI. But we see over here, the red cloud just triggered, no chalk, no yellow cloud yet. So we're not there yet. I'm giving you this strategy early, but it could take like three weeks to turn over. This stock just hit its first top, I would assume. And this is ripe. This is ripe for selling puts and just making absurd money weekly. And here's what I'm looking at for this long-term option. And the, the math is, the numbers are insane. You know, you don't need to do it on this stock. There's so many other stocks out there you could do it on, but it costs 20 grand for like an at-the-money option, which is what we're typically buying. So we're buying 0.4 to 0.5 delta, and we're, you're going a little bit shorter on the months. Because if you go too far out, it's not worth it. The options are way too expensive. You want to take advantage of that, that short, short term option decaying quickly. And then you're just trying to have like a long term option to have that as collateral. So the goal of the PMCP again is a premium collection. So we don't care about appreciation as much. We don't care about the long option. So that's why you don't need to go out as long. The the 12 month out option on the PMCC, the poor man's covered call, is, is best because you want to maximize appreciation. But the poor man's put, you could go with a three-month option, and that, to me, is totally fine. Because you know what happens is your weekly return can be as high as like 20%, can be as high as 30%. You could pay for this option within three weeks, and then you're left with two months to try to hit your full move to make whatever it is. But you could see like the when we put this up last week, 10% return doesn't make you a lot of money with these options because they're so expensive. They're so volatile. So the most money is made through the, the premium de collection. The IV is so high, again, you're just making money through premium collection. So what you're doing is you're sell selling that 0.2 to 0.3 delta, and that allows you to just massively pay for your long-term option and print money weekly. Let me show you what that looks like with the SMCI example. So basically the option chain right now, the IV is like close to 100. And what, what could happen is really impressive for just the short term. But if you buy, let's say like the April option, so the three month out option, this would be where if you dropped, let's say 10%, like I said, you make 35%. 35% return on your money. That's a lot. That's really good. But if you sold the weekly against your April option, you could be selling, let's say again, like 10% down, $720. you are making $2,700. And again, that option costs $15,000. So you're making almost 20%. I mean, 20% return would be right here. 20% return. And again, if the stock drops, you make another 30% on top of that. This is in one single week. 
More importantly, if uh, IV goes down, that option decays quicker. You know, so does the other one. They, they, they mostly negate each other. You want to just keep collecting premium weekly. So if you collect three thousand dollars this week, three thousand the next week, that's six grand, nine grand, twelve, fifteen. You've paid for the option within four weeks. So it just depends on how aggressively you want to sell. You could go like to a as high as a, a 40 delta and then you would be making um, as much as like 40% return. So 40% return there, that would be 30% return. So your, your long-term option, just holding it, you could sell a 40 delta and make 40% return on your money in one week. And the best part is, when you get the long-term trend because the long-term trend is the goal with any long-term option and just selling options is a bonus, but the long-term trend is where you really can maximize this. So for example, Carvana, once we hit our cloud confirmations where it went yellow cloud, red cloud, and you could do this on the daily or weekly, but you could see Carvana here. This thing sank from 270 to $17. And more importantly, you could be collecting premium this whole time and it sank in a matter of six months. So in six months, Carvan has moved 200 points lower and you're making that with your, your long-term put. So with the right confirmation and the right downward trend and the, the right time on your option, you have so much opportunity to make money. And the, a premium you can collect per week is, is just a bonus. And the amount you can collect with the, the puts is so much higher because most of these stocks have run up IV. IV is very high and makes it very expensive and easy to sell options to make money. So now I just want to finish up the video with the most important thing. So we're going to be talking about how to scan for these options. And scanning for these options is super simple. We're just going to go to Thinkorswim and use the same setups I'm showing you right here. And I'm going to expand the screen and show you exactly how to set this up yourself and how to adjust it to find things that maybe fit your criteria but aren't something I put in right away. But you're looking at your scan to be optionable. So category, all optionable. This means it has options. You want to make sure it's a stock, so scan the stocks. If you want to do indexes, it's fine, but you won't get those unicorn opportunities like SMCI. And you're looking for the price to be over 10 bucks. It's just not worth it getting into penny stocks. And the higher the price is, again, the more it can fall, the more the options can pay you. So higher prices are better. 10 bucks is the minimum. Um, the market cap, I didn't put a market cap in there, but I wouldn't want anything like under like 100 million. Again, you want to stay away from penny stocks as much as possible. You know, if you could keep it at like a billion, like $1 billion would probably be the best the best to scan at, $1 billion. And then that, next you're going to put up a study. So you go to add filter study here, and then IV percentiles in the volatility sector. You're going to go 80 to like whatever the highest is, could be like 200 and this is going to help you get the highest IV stocks. Again, that will help you maximize passive income. Next, you're going to go to price change. So you want to make sure you have the opportunity to go really far down, you know, have it just fall apart over months. So you want to make sure the stock is up, let's say 150 to 200 percent. So 150 to 200. The higher we are, the higher we can fall. And so now it becomes a game of you know, when does uh, our setup trigger? You know, when does this look like a 10 out of 10 setup with the bear clouds, with your, let's change that there, with your chalk. And I'm going to show you one other setup, but we'd see Abercrombie and Fitch. So I'd go to that chart and I'd look to see if we have any confirmation. Abercrombie and Fitch has run up an insane amount, but we haven't really crossed down under the green cloud. We haven't hit a, a chalk alert, so we haven't really set this up. So this stock is still 
perfect for continuation, but once it does fall, that's where we're going to start looking for this strategy to trigger. IOT, that was another one on here. So IOT, we're looking for this one to trigger again. So red cloud, um, chalk symbol, that would be where we're going to short this down. You can see on the, the charts went from 10 bucks to 34. So mega, mega run there. And we're looking at like NVIDIA, SMCI, they're in the same sector. Um, there's TRML, let's check that one out, TRML. And this one you can see has not set up as, as a chalk alert yet. But it's very close because we're just capitulating. So this stock went from 10 to 40. And right now we're just looking for it to hit any of our confirmations to go in. And then once we go in, all we do is go to the option chain, sell an option three to six to nine months out, or buy one three, six, nine months out, and then sell one that's gonna be one to two weeks out. And then just rinse and repeat that as we've confirmed, as we're in the downtrend, and then just make sure your clouds are still confirming as the trade goes on. That's all I got, fam. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do wanna learn more about the poor man's covered call, I have a full tutorial for small accounts in the video to the right of me. Enjoy that and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.